Hey, Psych2Goers. We'd like to say that we're here for you during this difficult time of COVID-19. Stay safe, everyone. The coronavirus pandemic is affecting all of us right now. It's caused a lot of changes in the world. While your mental health should be taken seriously all the time, it's particularly important during this pandemic. So here are 10 ways that coronavirus affects you mentally, and we're here to validate those experiences in case you feel like you're alone in them. Number one, mob mentality and panic buying. There's a lot of panic going around and it's worsened by mob mentality, which is when people are influenced to behave in an overly emotional way by those around them. Even though stocking up sounds like a good idea, Hoarding too much will lead to a shortage for others who really need it. Some people might hoard because of their belief that there isn't enough for everybody, but there is. Two, feelings of emotional isolation. Social distancing means we have to keep physical distance between ourselves and other people. It's the responsible thing to do to flatten the curve. But being physically isolated can lead to feeling emotionally isolated. Loneliness is the last thing anyone wants to feel in times of crisis. So be sure to reach out to friends and family. Take advantage of technology that allows you to feel connected to loved ones across great distances. Three, boredom. Even when you're working from home, being quarantined inside your house for a long period of time can make anyone feel uneasy. This is especially true for people who are extroverted and aren't used to staying in. It's important to know you're able to conquer boredom. Make a list of things you've been meaning to do, like hobbies to start, books to read, home projects, games to play, and so on. Four, overconsumption of news and media. People have constant access to the news all the time, and sometimes it can be filled with inaccurate information that only intensifies your fears. So make sure your sources are credible and factual, especially when you share it online. While it's good to stay informed, too much can also negatively impact your mental health. Be mindful of how much time you spend consuming the news especially during this pandemic. Five, added stress to your life. Life was stressful enough with work, school, and relationships, but with the pandemic, it could make it much more difficult and stressful to manage everything. Approaching stress with a calm and practical perspective is essential. In fact, the Center for Disease Control's coronavirus webpage includes a section on managing stress. It's important to remember that this situation is temporary and that we'll make it through this together. Six, worry about loved ones. Although it's good to be concerned about other people and how they're doing during this time of crisis, too much worry can increase the stress hormone in your body and suppress the effectiveness of your immune system. The best way to keep yourself and others healthy, especially the elderly and immunocompromised people, is to stay home. Use text or video chat to stay emotionally connected with them and make plans for when the quarantine is over. Seven, Stress about finances. Since all non-essential employees have been told to stay home, many are now out of work. Going without a paycheck is stressful and can bring up other financial troubles. The American Institute of Stress found that 76% of Americans cite money and work as their leading causes of stress, which speaks to how extreme the issue is. But being stressed all the time can lead to other health problems. Eight, normal schedules and routine is interrupted. The new coronavirus preventative measures have caused a lot of interruptions in people's schedules and routines, such as going to work, school, the gym, going to your favorite restaurant, and so on. While it can be hard to adjust to all the new changes, have faith that this is gonna be temporary and we'll soon be able to get back to our normal routine when the outbreak dies down. Perhaps this is a great time to binge watch your favorite TV show on Netflix that you didn't have time to watch before the lockdown. Nine, concern about your physical health. Of course, we're all worried about our physical health during this outbreak, but being excessively anxious all the time can also affect your mental health. In this time of difficulty, make your health a priority by taking the necessary precautions against the spread of the virus. Make sure to eat healthy and move your body. Practice self-care as often as you can. And 10, concern about the world. It's natural to feel anxious during this pandemic, but too much anxiety can be detrimental to your health. Remember that we can only control our own actions. So wash your hands frequently, don't touch your face, stay home, and remind yourself that by following these rules, you are doing your part to help everyone else. We all have to do our part to weather through this crisis. So stay safe, practice social distancing, 
be kind to other people, and take care of yourself both physically and mentally. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and share it with those who might benefit from it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.